Hello guys, this is welcome. I'm gonna film this time not with the with my hands due that these boots are quite tall and they don't fit very good with my with my holder. So we have here let me start. This is the Renegades 12 inches Latigo Latigo 10. We have here the Red Wing A66, which is discontinued. And this is the Renegades 10 inches Rafal 10 Rafal, no brown, brown Rafal 64. Um, we have the Vibram outsole. The Vibram B-Bar, Vibram Wetzel, and new Nix uh, Meritech, Meritech, I think the name, Wetzel, which is pretty cushy. Well, let me show you the letters. Let's start with the Pecos. I'm a little sad because Red Wind is continuing this boot. This is a very iconic boot from Red Wind. Besides the mock tool, this has been on the market decades. And when I got this boot last year, they told me that these are discontinued, so you can buy the boot, but you need to call the stores. The, the, any any Red Wing store can tell you where where's the closest store with inventory. We have in stock this boot, this model, this is the A66. I use nine. Nine triple E, and it fit me very well. I need to use sometimes thicker socks, but I can use thin socks. It's just sometimes the shaft is a little moving. It's moving a little bit, which when I'm working, I use the work the work uh, socks a little thicker and fit very well. This is the Renegade. You know this boot, guys. This came from Nyx with a Rizzle. The cat paw, you used to have the cat paw, the half half sole in front of you. It was a billbread, I, I forgot the name. And the cat paw on the back. The cat paw was pretty good, just um, already past a year or a year and a little bit more, a year, 14 months, I guess. And oh, I think more than 14 months. I used to, my last uh, birthday was March. Yes, year and a half. So it was already moving. It was already, it was on the heel. It was a little, uh, it was, uh, the rubber went off in this side. It's because of my walking and it started to, it started to, to move the boot. It, it was walking a little bit uncomfortable. So I, I decided to, to wrestle and turn out this is the, I present to you guys the most comfortable boot in my entire collection. Regardless of the brand, this is the most comfortable boot in my whole collection. 10 inches, rough out, soft toe, with the, this wet sole. This is from Merrimack. Not sure if this Nix is uh, trying to, it's a sample they're going to, they're going to, to use in the future, I don't know. I didn't ask, but it's really good. It's a lot different from the Vibram. This is a lot like the Torago, which I love the, the Torago. Maybe it's different brand, the Torago, just trying to explain for those people who have the Torago and have a Vibram Wetzel, you're gonna know what I'm, what I'm trying to say. You know, it feels different. So I need to clean these boots a little bit. This are is getting dirt. It's getting dirty. Check out this beautiful rough out. Already starting to lose the the hairy stuff and trying in some spot you can start to see it's getting loose a lot of the grain. Which I love it. Some people don't, I do. And of course, we have here the Pecos leather is the work line. The same like the Mokto, the work line. 
Oro Legacy, Oro. I sometimes confuse a lot the one from their heritage than the work line. I mix up the names, but you know what I'm meaning. Soft, quite soft, but I think this is softer. Yeah, this is a lot, this is softer. This is soft, but that one is softer, more pliable. Um, the front, I think it's because of the bamp. It feel a little more firm than the shaft, but it holds pretty, pretty good, this wood. Haven't done nothing to this, not, not even a saddle soap, nothing in a year. So I think it's time to, to clean this baby. Hold on, there you go. And of course, because these boots are quite tall, I'm using my hands this time. Um, this is the Latigo. I'm not sure if I pronounce it well, Latigo, but I don't care. I say Latigo. <laughs> like a whip in Spanish, un Latigo. And this is, <laughs> well, people who have a Latigo know what I'm meaning. This is a, a lot of pull out. There it look just a cow. Woo! Love that. But this is firm. This is a firm leather full of waxes, oils. Um, I think I'm gonna add oil to this wood so it can become a little softer and start to impregnate oil for the winter. I think this is going to be a very nice winter winter boot. It's very good on, 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 on summer actually. Here in Laredo, we went two weeks ago, 118 almost 120 Fahrenheit and it was pretty hot. I went out with these boots and they're breathable. They're breathable, it's not like Chrome Excel. Chrome Excel really cooked my, it's like an oven. But these boots were really breathable. So I just want to give some oil. I think I'm gonna do it this next month so they can be ready for, for winter. No wax, no nothing else, just oil. Latigo likes oil. In my opinion, this is my opinion. This is what I do. You don't have to do it. And, but it looks. Few scratches here and there. But it's a really good leather, man. Latigo is one of my favorites. One of my favorites, smooth. I don't know how, oh my God, it's same like my Overlander. I don't know what happened here, but I, I caught it. Well, it's, it is what it is. Let me show you what it looks, the h and on the wet sole, what it looks on, on the B-bar. This sometimes you get confused that this may be 55 less because because of the the quan. I think this type of no, this is the B bar. Yeah, that's the B bar heel cap. It's thicker, so sometimes it looks this. It looks like this looks mm, like a 55, but it's not. There you go. You feel very good at last on this wet sole. This is the most comfortable one. Roll top, of course I use roll top on rainy gates. I don't like uh, the other ones, they, they just cut. Let's pay a little bit more and get off the fancy. This is very comfortable using the roll tops. I like it. Well guys, this is uh, the pull-ons. Let me show you again for those references. 12 inch height, height uh, 8 and 10, 10, 8 and 12. Which one do I recommend you? I think the 12 is a little higher for me. Well, it's not higher, it fits very good. It's just, I, I will not use 14. I think I'm 5'9 and my shaft, my, my calf is you have a little space here only. I have this on the maximum stretch. I'm, I'm, it's been stretching, so 
I'm, I want to leave them ready for ticker socks. I think I feel very comfortable with the 10 for people. I'm fight nine. I think if you are fight fight eleven, fight twelve, six six foot, you may feel a lot better the twelve than the ten inches. And for any size, I think this Pecos, if you find one of these ones, this is three hundred and thirty dollars. Three hundred and thirty. Renegades are five hundred and fifty. It's uh it is worth the pay the difference, yes. Completely different quality. This is uh, a one configuration, one and only. Take it or not, take it or leave it. But this is a lot of configurations, leathers, soles, whatever. Plus, made in the USA, both ones, Redwing and Mix. And it's a shame. Redwing discontinued the Pecos. This one, the A66, it's been decades on the market. It's a shame, but I think uh, you can make the same with, with Nix and you can duplicate it and have a better quality plus results and uh, it's more comfortable i can tell you this soft toe is a lot more comfortable this is soft this is not soft toe have some elastic on this side but it's not completely a cap like the nicks but i can tell you the type of toe they're using on the front Oh, let me show you. Um, this is rounded. If it's it goes better with my foot, more my feet doesn't. This is like more or less like a cowboy pointy one, the Red Wing. So sometimes my foot is a little tight, my my toes, and this I feel a lot better. The toes, I feel really comfortable. It's like a, like a, this is truly, this is the most comfortable with my entire collection. I, I want to say it. I've been thinking to buy another one, exactly like 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 this one, maybe different rough out. It's it's an amazing, it's amazing. Well, guys, thank you. Short video, well, twelve minutes. God bless you. Have an amazing week. Um, no, sh I, I'm gonna make a, another video. I'm waiting for a mock tool. So, thank you for the support, comments, everything. God bless you guys from from my heart. Send me questions, emails, wherever you want. Let me know. If you don't like my views, let me know too. I can change some stuff. Don't worry. Love you guys. God bless you. Yo los bendiga a todos. Los quiero.